Happy Friday morning, everybody. It's Mike here. I'm in the youth room by these nine wooden frames we have hanging up on the wall. The frames that some of you like to try to knock down while you're playing ping pong. But I'm here this morning by the fruit of the Spirit. We're told in Galatians chapter 5 that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. That's what we studied last year on the youth summer trip when we went to Bishop, California. We took a look at all of these things and took a look at our life to see how we were doing. And so I'm wondering today, how are you doing at exhibiting the fruit of the Spirit in your life? Again, I know it's a frustrating time for a lot of people, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't still be the people that God has called us to be. So how are you doing? at loving people? How are you doing at having joy? How are you doing at being at peace, not just with God, but with others as well? How about patience? That can be something difficult right now for some people. How are you doing with patience? How about kindness? Are you being kind to people? Goodness? Are you doing what's right? Gentleness? How about faithfulness? How about self-control? Oh, the fruit of the Spirit are things that shouldn't be exhibited in our lives only during easy times when everything's going well. The fruit of the Spirit should be exhibited even more in our lives during times of difficulty. So how are you really doing? How are you doing in your life exhibiting the fruit of the Spirit? Are any of these out of whack right now? If so, what do you need to do to get it back on track? Remember, these are the things that will show what a relationship with God is really like. Because as we all know, you cannot grow strawberries on a watermelon tree. Some things to think about today. As always, a reminder, I love you. Most importantly, God loves you. I'll see you next time.